Hello everyone, and welcome back to Warrior Cats The Untold Tales, and we're here with Rinfeather, who is slowly but surely recovering from the fact that she ended up causing the death of a young River Clan cat. So she hasn't really talked to anybody else in the clan about those things, and she's been trying to lose herself in helping out Snowheart and Shinefur with all of the different quests that they have, but unfortunately for Rinfeather, she seems to almost be a bit of a natural fighter, and so Deputy Preyheart is constantly asking her to go out and help with the battles and she doesn't mean to but somehow she just wanders into the fight and then she has to defend her family and her friends and ThunderClan and the next thing you know she's ended up winning the fight and she's ended up with even more of a reputation as a powerful warrior. So despite our best efforts to focus on some of the more relaxed aspects of the game and be able to turn Rinfeather into more of a medicine cat a deputy apprentice, it's kind of funny, it's like we're the assistant's assistant, there we, or like not apprentice but assistant. So you can be the deputy's assistant assistant or you can be the medicine cat's assistant assistant which I think is kind of fun and those are the things we were trying to focus on but but somehow Rinfeather has just managed to drag herself into a bit more of a complicated situation by being the deputy's assistant. So let's see. We must complete 10 battles and pay 50 reputation. And she's already managed to complete two battles. So, oh my goodness, I don't know how we're going to be able to pass all of that up. Rinfeather just really doesn't feel like she wants to be involved in that. She's starting to get a little bit more reputation in the clan, though. Let's go ahead and feed her and get some drink. And then I think we'll go ahead and let her sleep because she has a lot on her mind. She's having a hard time figuring out what she wants to do. And... Really, what I find very interesting, as ThunderClan continues to build up this idea of Renfeather as a powerful warrior, Renfeather herself continues to build up this idea of how nice it is to be away from the clan and the clan politics and her reputation in the clan and be able to sit inside of the swamps of ShadowClan and admire the fireflies. So far, all of her adventures up into ShadowClan have proven to be somewhat safe. We're waiting here for her to be able to sleep, by the way. But they've been proven uh, to be somewhat safe. She hasn't run into Shadow Clan. Nobody has caught her over in Shadow Clan's territory just yet. And she's fallen in love with the fireflies. <gasps> it's Leaf Fall! Oh my gosh, it's the first day of Leaf Fall now? Wow, there's dragonflies everywhere. This is amazing. Are we going to have... We better go talk to the guards. What if we have the four trees meeting today? Okay, let's come over and talk to Wild Nose really quickly. So I think this will have changed her perspective a little bit. Waking up and seeing dragonflies and all of these leaves everywhere. I wonder if that would distract Rinfeather from her little mopey mopiness. And maybe it will make her uh, want to stick around the clan instead of go run up and try to hide in Shadow Clan territory watching fireflies for a bit. Let's talk to Wild Nose. Oh, hey, how's it going? Wild Nose is doing well. Let's talk to Quick Heart. We'll even say hello to Mouse Fur, even though they don't really talk to us. Mouse er, and Quick Heart, I hope you like this gift. <gasps> oh, so Quick Heart has actually given us a gift before Wild Nose today. <laughs> we'll have to think about that. We'll have to go see what kind of gifts we can bring back for both of them. So Rinfeather, as usual, would dutifully turn that gift into the prey pile. And let's go see what Shine for wants. I think that all of the dragonflies, interestingly enough, make Rinfeather really excited. And so they woke up, she woke up, and her mind is kind of taken away from all of her troubles and woes and her desire to get away from the clan. So she'll continue to do what is her habit, coming in and seeing what Shine for needs for the kits. Oh, please find a shiny thing. I'm sure you'll find them near the place with the two legs if you look hard enough. All right. Well, let's go look for a shiny thing. I think Grinfeather would be tempted to hand over the shiny thing that she got from Wild Nose if she doesn't find one soon. And then we need some comfrey for Snowheart. Yes, comfrey. All right. I think Rinfeather would be a little bit nervous about the comfrey because, oh, and I forgot we have this spot. Sweet. So we got a dead squirrel too. Just first thing. Oh, hi, Birch Heart. What are you doing over here? Can I talk with you? It would be fun if you could interact with the other cats you bump into in your clan while you're out patrolling. Roseheart, the gathering is today at Four Trees. Dragon Soul. All right, I'll have to remember that. So I think the gathering will be like at midnight. So maybe we'll wander back over there toward around midnight or so. All right, so let's see if Rinfeather can find any prey. I think she'd be feeling a little excited. And then do we have to scratch at the trees in order to get brambles? So which trees? Oh, yeah, look at that. It's some moss. Now I can carry some moss around with me. That's so cool. A comfy bed of moss can be used as a water source. That is so cool, you guys. Okay, so we'll carry that around for a little bit. All right, so here is the big tree. And I'm trying to remember what the big tree is called. 
This would be Owl Tree. Ooh, I don't know if I want to be near Owl Tree then. Let's see if there's any prey nearby. Aha, uh -huh, there's a squirrel available. And, oh, it got away. Darn. All right, Rinfeather. No luck there. And I think she would be so focused on looking for prey, she maybe wouldn't notice that she's getting closer and closer to that particular spot of RiverClan territory that now has very, very bad memories for her. And you guys, oh my gosh, thank you so much for how excited you are. No prey again? Really? Oh, there's a bird. There's a bird. Let's get it. Oh, yes, we got it. But thank you guys so much for your sheer excitement over... Let's see, Renfeather, are you okay? All right, yeah, she's so focused on prey, I don't think she'd notice that she came to this part. Ah, run away! That she came to this part of the area. Oh, can we bury this apple and come back for it? I'm going to bury it. Maybe it'll turn into an apple tree. But thank you guys so much for all of your excitement. Let's move this. Uh, get away from all those cats. Oh, what's that? Is that comfrey or something up there? Interesting. We may have to see if we can try to go reach that. I think Renfeather would suddenly remember there's an injured clan member. Oh, what's this? Oh my gosh, there's bunnies? Wow, where are we? This is so interesting. All right, give me a second. Did we just run away from a cat? We did. I don't think Grandfather is noticing that she's being chased. I think River Clan is developing a, a deep hatred of her because of what she did to one of their young, their young ones. There's a horse. There's a horse. There's a horse, of course. Wow, Renfeather, you're finding a lot of new things today. But you guys, thank you so much for your support with Warrior Cats The Untold Tales. I love our Warrior Cats Sims 3 series as well. I think I, I love Sims 3 because it is so beautiful and because it has so much potential. But it is a lot of work for me to work on. It takes me hours and I'm kind of at a phase right now where I'm going a little bit slower with it. And because of what's been going on with my family, um, lately with my mom and dad in the hospital, I haven't quite felt like... There we go. Did I get it? Oh, we missed. I haven't quite felt like working on the very tricky uh, script writing as much as usual, but seeing your guys' excitement about Warrior Cat's Untold Tales, I cannot even tell you guys what that is doing for me. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh gosh, and we're getting really thirsty. All right, let's go ahead and drop this and we'll drink from it. This is so cute. This is so cute. I can't believe we could drink from moss. This is so awesome. All right, almost done. There we go, and our thirst is quenched. How useful is that moss? Oh my gosh. Maybe we'll do just a spot of hunting for ourselves here. Because she's a little hungry. Oh, Fooey, the mouse got away. Look at her run, that's so cute. Can I get this bird? Yes, okay, so she's she's managed to catch plenty of birds. So I think we'll go ahead and eat one bird, even though it would cost us some reputation. Just because she's doing so good at hunting today. But I just wanted to say thank you again to you guys because I have had a hard time um, with everything that's been going on. Another horse, of course! This is awesome! With my family, it's been very hard for me to focus on riding warrior cats. Um, it takes a lot out of me. I think I may be putting too much work into it, if that makes sense. I'm actually, I'm actually overwhelming myself more than I need to with riding the Warrior Cat Sims 3 series. And so seeing you guys so excited about warrior cats and so excited about your clans and so excited about your stories and so excited about untold tales, is helping me so much get that motivation back that I really, really needed. I cannot tell you what it does to see the fan fiction and the fan art and to see you guys talking in the comments about all of the things. Dang it, she's missing everything now. Maybe because the light is going down, she's not so sure about this. All right, we might head back soon. But seeing your excitement in the comments and seeing your your happiness and the way you, you show me how much you're loving it through your likes and the fan art for Renfeather has been through the roof. I cannot even believe. Ah, okay, run, 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 Feather, run, run. Oh my gosh, run. I can't get that comfrey, darn it. I was really hoping we'd be able to reach it. But the fan art for Renfeather has been through the roof compared to, to anything else lately. And I, I cannot thank you guys enough for that. It really means so much to me to see that kind of excitement. And it helps me to get excited again. Whenever, okay, we'll bury this bird too. We're being really good at hunting. But whenever I see your guys' comments, whenever I see so many people talking, whenever I see the likes and, and the fan art and, and all of that, I just, oh, is, this our, is that our clan? Oh my gosh. Look at him run for it. Are we going to win this battle? No, that's my, eh, get out of here. Get out of here. Are we winning? I can't tell. Oh my gosh. 
All right, Dirk, Dirk, can you get back, get back. Is that Wind Clan? I can't tell. Or Thunder, or, oh my gosh, no, I'm too wounded. I'm too wounded. It's not gonna work. Come on, Dust Tail, run for it, run for it. All right, I think they're gonna win that one, you guys. <laughs> but yeah, just remember that, so thank you. All right, Renfeather's gonna work her way back home, and then I think we're going to uh, send her over to the gathering. But yeah, it's, uh, the past several weeks, I thought that resting would help me get better on, on being able to relax and unwind, and then being able to write more for Warrior Cats. But actually, I'm finding it's sitting with all of you and seeing your excitement and your happiness and how, all right, Renfeather's coming back with so many birds today and a squirrel and I bet she's just so proud of herself. I think we're even going to like hide this little bit of moss over here and let's see, let's go ahead and drag ourselves over to Cloudleaf. And I don't think Renfeather would feel bad about having run away from the battle right now because she really doesn't want to be part of these battles. And now we're going to work our way over. Oh, are we going to get there in time? I have to go really fast. I don't think we're going to get to four trees in time. All right, we'll sprint. Yeah, go Renfeather, go. Let's see if we can sprint our way over to four trees in time to be part of the gathering. But basically, I just wanted to say that to you guys. Thank you. I thought resting and resting and then resting some more would be what would help me. No, you guys, we're having a gathering at Fortress. Everybody better be nice and... No, no, no. Hilfer, run! Are we not near Fortress? Oh, there's a feather. I want that feather. I think Renfeather has gotten lost. She's gotten lost in the night. Oh, dear. All right. Oh, there we go. Oh, you guys, this is so cool. This is so cool, it's our first gathering. Skystar, you've been awarded bonus experience points for visiting the gathering this month. Statistics, total experience this cat has earned, 87. Days this cat has been alive, 10. Ooh, oh my gosh, and we just made it, just in time for the gathering. That was so cool. All right, let's get Renfeather home so she can get some rest. She did manage to find a few bird feathers at least, so there is that. All right, but no shiny things and a little bit more comfrey. So let's gather that up. A little comfrey. And here's another apple that we can offer to Wild Nose, I think. Oh, and even more comfrey down here. We're going to have a nice, or excuse me, goldenrod. We're going to have a nice little pile of that stuff. All right, she's getting hungry. Who's chasing me? Is that a rogue? Who is that? Veteran Night Frost and Silverheart. <gasps> is Shadow Clan conspiring with another group? Are they conspiring with rogues again? Dun dun dun! We're gonna have to find out what's happening. But let's send Rinfeather home and we'll let her rest for now. All right, come on Rinfeather, you're almost there. And we'll let her just go ahead and kind of, uh, well, she can probably sleep through the night, right? We'll drag her over to her bed. Can she sleep? Okay, no, you can only sleep at very specific times. So we'll let her organize her little her little pile of goldenrod plants. <laughs> and we will go ahead and give Wild Nose this apple just because I think she would want to. There we go. Oh, thanks. There we go. And then we have a feather. I mean, we could offer Quick Heart the feather, but we don't have any feathers in her pile. But I think that she'd feel like she wanted to offer something to Quick Heart because he did give us the, the uh, mouse. So let's see if Quick Heart likes the feather. Oh, is this for me? Thank you, Quick Heart. Okay. And we'll let her go ahead and rest for just a minute so that I can tell you guys thank you once again because it's your excitement. I really thought I needed to rest. I thought I needed to take a break. I thought I needed to step away and I probably need to do some of those things, especially because our Warrior Cat Sims 3 series has become so much more complicated than I thought it would ever be and I've overcomplicated it for myself in some ways. And I have so many other things or so many other series I'm trying to run at the same time that I can get really overwhelmed. But seeing your guys' excitement over Warrior Cats Untold Tales, the like wave of fan art that's come in, the way you guys are so eager for more and more episodes, I just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for that because I'm finding that more than resting or planning or organizing or trying to plot things out for our Warrior Cat Sims 3 series with Moss Clan and Branch Clan and the cats that I have truly come to love over the last year, it's you guys. It's your excitement. It's the, the, the noise and the hyperness and the happiness that you guys make when you're happy and let me know how much you love our Warrior Cat series that makes me ready to do it again. That gives me the energy that I need to make more. So thank you. And to thank you guys, and let's go ahead and let Renfeather come on out and we'll go get some food and then get something to drink and kind of stretch our paws again. Um, hello, Frostwillow. Man, all right, and we'll, you know what? We'll eat quite a bit this morning to get ourselves started and then come on over and get a good drink. There we go. But to say thank you to you guys for the way that you have really, really helped me take some deep breaths and be ready to 
record Sims 3 Warrior Cats and really, really work on it and face season two with a, a simpler lifestyle and with the motto of just trying to make sure, oh no, oh, that's right you guys, you better let those monsters keep you apart. Oh hey Grayer, what are you doing over here? Grayer wanders around here quite often, that's kind of interesting. But to thank you guys for how much support the Untold Cat or the Untold Tales series has gotten, to thank you guys for all of the likes, the comments, the fan art. Um, uh oh, we're being chased down. Run for it! All right, we'll dash over here. Oh, look at that! We managed to find ourselves a nice, another nice apple. Interesting. We might have to go up north again. I think Rinfeather is getting curious about the land up north, where Shadow Clan lives. Because so far, when we're looking for shiny things, that's why we're pacing around. We're hoping to find a shiny thing. Ah, run away! Oh my gosh, how'd they dodge? They dodged the monsters! They dodged the monsters on the path of the last moment. Okay, I'm getting distracted again. But to say thank you to you guys for how amazing you have been with Warrior Cats The Untold Tales. For your patience and for your kindness and for the way- Oh my gosh, why is this happening? No, Birchpaw, run for it, come on. All right, we dragged Birchpaw away from that and somehow we found ourselves lost in the swamp again. But to thank you guys for your happiness and excitement, we're gonna have two Untold Tales episodes today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So don't worry, even though I have rambled most of this episode away, well, Rinfeather is now lost inside of the swamp. Um, and I think she's a little curious about what's in the swamp. She's disappointed there's not any fireflies here. I think that's one of her things. Uh, that she is a little disappointed on the lack of fireflies. But to thank you guys for all of your support and for the way that your kindness and your eagerness... Oh, look at that! Go by! Oh, that monster! They're so fast! They're so fast! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, and just- Oh, there's a dog! What? What? Heck no! Run for it! Oh my gosh, I think Rinfeather would just really like dash, 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 and hide. Oh my goodness, she's had a huge day today. But yeah, two episodes of Untold Tales. Keep up the excitement, you guys. Keep up the comments, the fan art, all the things that you want to do, or even just sharing your time with me, or sharing your stories of what you have been doing in your Warrior Cats adventures, and it's just building up. It's just, it's filling me with so much energy. Run for it, Duskpaw. Oh my gosh, we've got, we've got distracted. That's what we get for, for lingering in another cat's territory. Oh, let's see who the powerful fighters are over here. It looks like Duskpaw. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Oh my gosh, Cliffclaw. All right, so Cliffclaw and Rin Rinfeather, they're staring each other off. And the two clans have battled. So I think Wind Clan and, and Shadow Clan had a fight just then. So let's get out of Shadow Clan territory. But yeah, just keep up the excitement, you guys. Keep up the excitement. Keep up the energy. Because I cannot tell you how much it is helping me. Get ready to jump back into Moss Clan and Branch Clan. All right, run, run, feather, run. And be able to share their stories and develop them even faster. All right, looks like Ashpaw and Mouse Herb are really... Ashpaw, get off Thunderpath! Get off Thunderpath, it's dangerous there. They're really poking around. I think we might have to give the kits our shiny thing from Wild Nose, you guys. Because we didn't find another shiny thing no matter how much we looked. And I think Rinfeather's kind of thoughtful about that right now. All right, all right, so she's gonna come on back. We have yet another Goldenrod plant and yet nothing else useful. I guess we can start dropping them around camp so we can sort of decorate with them. And let's come on over, and I think she might just kind of politely bump into Wild Nose and say, Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Wild Nose? Hey, Rinfeather, how's your day been? Well, I found an apple. Um, maybe I won't tell you about all the other adventures I've been up to. But we'll go ahead and keep an eye on Wild Nose and Quick Heart and Rinfeather. And like I said, please, please, please continue to share your stories, continue to roleplay in the comments, continue to do whatever it is that you feel really shows your passion for our Warrior Cat series, and I can't thank you enough because it's helping me get energy to do them again. So enough of that blathering, and then I will see you guys in just a few minutes here for a special bonus episode of Warrior Cats The Untold Tales. Renfeather is really recovering. I think the terrible incident with River Clan is almost in, in the back of her mind. It's just starting to fade away, and she's becoming much more fascinated with the wild world up north where Shadow Clan is, and where we may be able to find quite a few mysterious treasures. So she's really wanting to start exploring up here and she's really curious about all of those horses that she started to run into as well and she's very curious about the Shadow Clan territory, especially at night when all of the dragonflies come out and we'll have to see if that leads her away from Thunder Clan or if perhaps there may be um, another cat or two 
who convinces her to stay here. So we'll have to see what her story turns out to be. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.